Morning, Mary Kaliki Maka, Merry Christmas. You want to be following the Holy Spirit this morning as He guides us? Thank you, Lord, that you are
morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm getting last minute announcements. So we're still doing compassion ministry. See the bulletin board for items needed for the Malama House. Um, the toy drive is still going on. We're collecting toys for our friends at the Malama House. Um, donations are appreciated. The turkey donation sign up is, I think, stopping on Tuesday. And the Christmas boxes are coming soon. Um, I have a note here. It's the last day to sign up for compassion ministry boxes, so make sure you get in on those. Uh, there's a silent auction over there on the counter that ends at 11 today. Go check those out. We have the Youth Bake Sale and Recovery uh, still happening. Youth Bake Sale, if you have last minute items you need to get or are just desiring some home-baked goods, they're going to be over here for $5 a pop. We'll open it up afterwards after everything's done. Alright, Christmas program is today following doing here. Christmas party is tonight. Join us at 5.30 for a night of games and food. Talk to Dylan for more info. Youth party. Youth party. The one for everybody is tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah. Join us for family fun, hot cocoa, dinner, and a movie, and a light show with a Polar Express ride. That starts at 5 p.m. And the Christmas Eve service, 1224. Join us at 6 p.m. for our candlelight service. Soup and fellowship to follow. Those are all my announcements. Does anybody have any other announcements? All right. Yeah. Thank you. Humble our shop this morning. I just want to praise Jesus. He's uh, making us children. Children of the Most High. And it amazes me. Sons and daughters of God. So we humble ourselves, we have to go. The Holy Spirit wants to come upon us. And when we're not walking in humbleness, we cannot talk. So we humble ourselves. Humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord. Yeah. 
she really thinks you're talking about.
Father, we just thank you so much for your love. You're an awesome God. Thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit leading us this day. We ask, Lord, that you would use each one of us to reach someone. There's a lot of people out there that don't know you yet, Lord. But we want to thank you that Christmas is every day in Hawaii. We live by you. We know in you there is no death. There's only life. But we thank you, Lord, that as you created us in your image, you are creating us to be just like you. And we just want to give you all the glory. May you have your way in us this morning. And we just love you and praise you by the power of Jesus' name. And now all God's children will say. Amen. Why don't we greet one another this morning? Let's give you a Lord for somebody. Say good morning. Say hello, Bob. Merry Christmas. Lift up your Good morning.
Judd. I want to embarrass them a little bit. Good morning and welcome everybody. Good morning. This is our, um, I know this is the fourth Sunday of Advent and normally we would do the candle lighting, but since Christmas is next Sunday, we're going to do it next Sunday. Um, just that's why we are breaking with tradition. Um, we want to welcome you today to the Christmas play, A Case for Christ, and I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, usually it's the youth this year, we wanted to mix it up and get some of the adults involved. And so we'll see how they do. <laughs> but we're grateful for each of you. And I want to pray before we begin this service. So, Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you for your love for us. We're so grateful for you and for your son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Lord, we need you. And without Jesus, the gift of this, our Savior, we would be lost. Lord, we just ask that you... Uh, Bless this service today. Bless those that are with us. Lord, we just pray a covering over this service. Um, speak through these uh, individuals that are in this play, Lord. We want it to glorify you. Help us to uh, enjoy, and we give you all the glory in your name. Amen. 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 Adopted son, something like that. It's been so long. 
song, I can't remember exactly. Yeah, I can kind of remember that too. My teacher always said Christmas was built around superstition and oral stories. So the way we celebrate it has probably changed a lot over the centuries. So you think it is about Jesus being God's son? I don't know. I mean, define God. To me, he's more of a concept than a person. So I say give me all the presents and believe whatever you want. That's my philosophy anyways. Chief? Well, I got a new assignment for you. It just came down the pipeline. Dude, I don't have time. I have a date. <laughs> a date? A date with who? Whom? Who? I don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> just who? Whom? A date with who, though? I'm Gabriel, not whom. And if you're asking me if I have a date, yes, I do. Well, I got that part. I want to know with who do you have a date? Um, with whom you have a date? I don't have a date. <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, dude. I was just trying to be helpful, you know, correct your grammar and all. What's my grandma got to do with it? <laughs> Okay, never mind. Anyway, what's this assignment about? Oh yeah. Well, you gotta go to Earth again and teach some teenagers about um, all about Christmas and what it's all about. Have to and who? Have to. Yes, have to and who? Wait, is this about my grandma? Um, something like that. Well, um, yeah. Well, about that assignment, I'm kind of busy right now. Uh, you don't have a choice. Why not? <laughs> oh, that is important. <laughs> Can't ignore the big guy. That's right. Hey, uh, um, Gabe, so who are you going on a date with? Who am I going with? Yeah. I'm dying to know. No one. Not a soul. Well, how's it supposed to be a date then? Going to have a date with a surfboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a surfboard. Yep, I was going to surf the Milky Way. The solar waves are killer right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hang loose, little dude. Work on your grammar, and I'll catch you on the flip side. I still don't know what my grandma has to do with anything. <laughs> Chill, dudes. I'm here on a mission. A mission? What are you talking about? Yeah, you're here trespassing. That's what you're doing. A mission? What are you, FBI or something? FBI? Nah, man. I'm in the GAA. GAA? Yeah, you know, God's angel army. I'm God's messenger angel, Gabriel. You can call me Gabe. Uh, God's messenger angel? I don't believe that for a minute. You don't? Why not? Dude, you walked in through the front door. Angels don't walk through the front door. They just... Materialize out of thin air. Materialize out of thin air? Who told you that? I don't know. I think I read it somewhere. If you are a real angel, where are your wings? Your feathers? 
Who told you angels had feathers? Or wings for that matter? We're supernatural beings created by God. No wings? Well, how else would you fly around? <laughs> wings are so 25 here. 2500 BC era. They have been out of vogue for a long time. <laughs> then how would you get around, Mr. Supernatural? Teleportation, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Teleportation? I don't believe that. Me neither. Mm. Want me to prove it? Absolutely. Prove it. Okay. Hmm. Where should I teleport to? Teleport to Germany and back. Yeah, to Germany and back. Okay, I'll do it. All right, ready? Close your eyes. Okay, now open up. You didn't do anything. You're still here. <laughs> yeah, you never moved. I did. I teleported to Germany and back in the blink of an eye. That's impossible. Yeah, you're just messing with us. If I didn't teleport, where? Hold on. <laughs> did I get this? You brought that with you. It's a pretzel. <laughs> yeah, you definitely brought that with you. Right. I always carry around a schnitzel from Germany just in case someone challenges me to teleport there and back. You know, come on, man. He does have a good point. Encourage him. Dude. If you are real, why are you here? What do you mean, if I am real? You can see me, can't you? Well, yeah, but I mean if you really are an angel. Well, I am a real angel, and I'm here because the big guy sent me on a mission. He sent you to us? Yes. It seems like the two of you aren't convinced that Jesus or Christmas is real. He wants me to take you to real eyewitnesses to hear the truth for yourself. Cool. Does that mean you're going to teleport us back in time with you? Absolutely not. Why not? <laughs> you don't have the equipment for that. What equipment do you have that you don't? Interstellar shades. <laughs> Interstellar shades. Follow me, and we'll take the trip of your lifetime. <laughs> Hey, Twinkles, long time no see. Oh my gosh, Gabriel, is that you? The one and only. Wow, it's been, what, over 2,000 years since I last saw you? Probably less since you saw me, though, with me being so fly and all. <laughs> People tell me all the time, I first started seeing you a million light years ago. You're just so fine and twinkly. <laughs> they are right. You and are right. twinkly. And right. And right. I try to tell them it's not easy being so big, bright, and beautiful, <laughs> and twinkly. A star, you know. A lesser star have tribes, but here, bursted into the scene with a blinding brilliance and quickly fading. Or their fame became so great they weren't able to handle it. And you know, to them. They got so wrapped up into themselves, started to believe their own press, <laughs> demanded attention all the time, and the next thing you know, they spiraled into a black hole, making their own Wow. I know. I know. Shine so bright. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's not easy to be to have this job, but I'll continue my best to shine my brightness for a long time. What sacrifice? I know it's not easy being me. I'm impressed. <laughs> um. Anyway, I brought a couple of my friends with me just to see you today. Of course you do. I mean, how nice. What actually do you need besides to see the brightest star in the universe? Right. Well, I brought them here so you could tell them about the time over 2,000 years ago, you know, the time of the Christ child. Hmm. Let me remember. You mean the time everyone marveled at my brightness? <laughs> and people journeyed great distances to see me? Well, that's one way to interpret it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can. My memory from a far back is kind of foggy, but I can remember it. Some say I was at my high school. Okay, try and focus. <laughs> can you tell us what you remember about that time? Well, I was traveling.
documentaries. Will you two pipe down? From the little town of Bethlehem. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Innkeeper. Hey. Do you have time to answer a few questions? You guys have a poor rent? No, no, nothing like that. We're here to see if you can answer a couple of questions, no, maybe. Maybe you can answer your questions. <laughs> <laughs> it won't take up much of your time. It would be a huge help if we could just have a little of your time. Okay, make it quick. Can't you see I've got work to do and money to make? Okay, okay, it won't take long. I was wondering, do you remember when the census was called and the people came back to Bethlehem <coughs> all over to participate? Yes, I do. We had a couple of good weeks. But that all is lots of money, lots of money. Most of the money went to Caesar and Herod, though. Well, I did have some. I have a few more questions. Okay, make it clear. During that time, do you remember a husband and wife coming to your inn on a donkey? I think everybody came to <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but in this case, the woman was pregnant, like really pregnant. What do you mean, like really pregnant? You're either pregnant or you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, she was ready to give birth pregnant. Well, I don't know. I well, in this case, your inn was completely full. As a matter of fact, every inn was completely full. No vacancies. Not. Well, I didn't remember that. We were Okay, try and concentrate. This couple needed a place to stay because the wife was about to give birth. Yeah, it was <laughs> the middle of the night. The sky was completely clear out, the stars shining, and there was one obnoxiously bright star shining down right over that little stable of yours across the road. At least it seemed to be shining down. Well, on the night it was at the brightest, a couple came to your inn and asked for a room. But you didn't have any rooms. Yeah, no yeah, one you did. Me that <laughs> <laughs> well, try and remember this. You offered to let them stay in your old stable where you keep your animals so the woman could have a baby in private? Well, I do remember that. Why didn't you say that in the first place? You know, <laughs> Okay, you guys, prepare for some supernatural stuff right now. It's going to be pretty trippy. What do you mean going to be? This is the weirdest night I have ever experienced. <laughs> yeah, this has all been pretty unreal if you ask me. Well, you're about to meet three more angels. Why are they dressed alike? And why are they dressed like you if they're angels? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Whoa. <laughs> These are a different kind of angel. 
you know what I mean. Come on, I'll introduce you to him. Dudes, how's it going? I'd like to introduce you to a couple of my friends. This is Emma, this is Caleb. I'm making a case, a real case for Christmas. Hey, I'm Harold, but everybody calls me Harp. This is my brother Harold, and this is my other brother Harold.
And then, and then the mother told us to be good. Keep going. We started to cry. It was so beautiful. The star was shining down on, on Jesus. It was fun. And the sheep came in too. The sheep came in? Yes, they did. What did they do? They started to speak. What did they say?
you guys think? Hey, you forgot about me. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? A little drummer boy. Yeah. <laughs> Big drummer boy. <laughs> There's no little drummer boy in the scripture. Dude, you wrote about me, remember? Parappa Pam Pam? I know that song. Yeah, me too. This isn't a part of my assignment, but all right, what's your story? Well, I heard about the new baby, and, he, and I saw the star, and people started talking, saying a newborn king had been born. So I went to see what was going on. And? It was true. He was in the stable. The star was shining down, brighter than anything I have ever seen before. And all the people were giving gifts to the baby and worshiping him. Okay, is, is there more? And the baby mom mentioned to me to come and see the baby, and I was ashamed. Why? I didn't have anything to offer the baby. So what did you do? Yeah, what did you do? The suspense is killing us. <laughs> <laughs> I started to play my drums for him, and it was amazing. And the baby looked at me, his mom smiled at me, and he truly, truly looked like a newborn king. Cool story, dude. Well, then what happened? I left, but it changed me. It was amazing. Thanks for your story, dude. Even if it was unexpected. Well, what do you think? I don't know. I mean, there's still a lot to process. I mean, it is a cool story and all. I'm going to have to think about it for a while. Well, you just heard first-hand accounts of me. The fact you could even hear and talk to people who were there is supernatural, don't you think? Well, yeah, it seems like it. It seems like it's me too. But is there any chance we could go see Jesus, you know, and hear it from the big guy himself? No can do, my friend. Why not? It isn't a part of my assignment. Huge bummer. But I can tell you this. You will find Jesus when you seek him with your heart. With your whole heart. I've seen him. I know him. And he is real. I can promise you that. How? And where do we see him? Pray. Christ? Pray, peeps. I'm telling you. Christ is all about, Christmas is all about Jesus. It's all about him being born, him being real, and him being celebrated by those who believe. Christmas is his birthday. Enjoy the day and believe it. Today has been a pretty epic day. I think I can believe. I think I can believe too. And you know what? I'm going to seek Jesus. I'm going to pray. And most importantly, I am going to believe. That, my friend, is what Christmas is all about. Jesus, the joy of the world, the newborn king, the savior of all mankind, Jesus. Well, my friends, I have an appointment with a surfboard on the Milky Way. <laughs> Hang loose. Seek Jesus and believe. He truly is the joy to the world.